Hey guys, всем привет! Today we're going to talk about demonstrative pronouns. Этот, this, тот, that, такой or таков, such, and столько, so many, so much, as many, as much, that many, that much. Demonstrative pronouns help us know objects' quality and quality. So when we talk about pronouns этот and тот, these pronouns help us understand if the object is close to us or far from us, its remoteness and closeness. When we use этот, that means that the object is close to us. When we use тот, it means that it's far from us or further from us. For example, мне нравится этот телефон. I like this phone. Этот телефон. Тот магазин открылся вчера. That store opened yesterday. So because phone is next to me, I say этот, and the store is far from me, I say тот. Тот магазин. When we talk about objects uh, quality, we use pronoun такой, such. Вчера был такой красивый рассвет. Yesterday was such beautiful sunrise. Такой help us understand that something is good or bad, the quality of the object. When we talk about the quality, we use pronoun столько. В поездку возьми столько вещей, сколько нужно. On the trip, take as uh, many stuff as needed. Столько will mean as many and so many. Столько also answers question. Сколько? How many? Сколько вещей нужно? Столько вещей нужно? How many stuff needed? That many stuff needed. And такой answers question. Какой? How? Какой вчера был рассвет? How was the sunrise yesterday? Он был такой красивый. It was so beautiful. Or it was such beautiful uh, Sunrise. So we talked about what these pronouns do. Now let's talk about how they change in the sentence. All of them will change according to case. In Russian language, we have six cases. Nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, instrumental, prepositional. And three of them will change by number and by gender. So этот, тот, and такой will change by number and gender. And столько will not change. So, for example, when we talk about masculine, I will say этот Этот телефон мне нравится. I like this phone. And I use этот because phone, uh, телефон, is masculine. However, книга, книга is feminine. This is a good book. Книга is feminine. And I will say эта книга. Наушники, наушники, headphones is always in plural because it's, you know, it's a pair in one. So I will say эти наушники, these headphones. And we are going to talk how these pronouns change by case, by gender, by number. But before that, I want to talk about pronoun это. Это is a pronoun that also describes an object. But the difference between это and этот is that этот specifies uh, one item among others. Этот цветок очень красивый. This flower is very beautiful. But when we say это, we'll say это цветок or это красивый цветок. This is a flower. This is a beautiful flower. So you see the difference? Это цветок очень красивый. This flower is very beautiful. And это красивый цветок. This is a beautiful flower. So when we say это, it just describes an object as is, as it is. And when we say этот, it sort of talks about the object among other objects. Мне нравится этот телефон. I like this phone. And when I say это телефон or это хороший телефон, this is a phone, this is a good phone. So the difference between этот is that I'm comparing sort of Этот телефон мне нравится. Not the Apple one, not the other one. Этот exact phone I like. Этот телефон мне нравится. I like this phone. Это телефон, or это хороший телефон. This is a phone, this is a good phone. Do you notice how I say, I don't say это, although I spell это. In Russian, when the vowel is not stressed, we don't actually pronounce it as о, we will say it as а. So, for example, the window, окно, uh, because the second о is stressed, the first о, we don't say окно, we say окно, окно. Same is это, although there is о at the end, but the stressed vowel is э, so we say это. Это, with kind of like R at the end. 
That was a side note. The pronoun ETA stays always unchanged, depending on the case, number, gender, ETA телефон, ETA наушники, ETA цветы, ETA книга, ETA, ETA, ETA will not change. And uh, when we talk about ETA, it will change as we discussed by gender, by number, by case, and so on. Before we look into how the pronouns decline by gender, case, and number, I want to talk about other stuff, like the particles that we use with, with these pronouns, the fixed phrases that we use and some of the stylistic forms of these pronouns. So first of all, the particles. Some of the pronouns use specific particles with them. So for example, этот will, will use the particle вот. Вот этот цвет мне нравится. Oh, this particular color I like. So although the pronoun этот already signifies something specific, when we use particle вот, that will emphasize it even more. Let's say I went shopping for a wedding dress and I would say это платье мне нравится. Это платье мне нравится. Вот это платье мне нравится больше всего. This dress I like, this dress I like, but this particular dress I like a lot. So, вот это платье, вот этот цвет, uh, this exact dress, this exact color. And with the pronoun тот, we use the particle вон. Вон тот дом мне очень нравится. Они построили тот новый дом, тот дом, but вон тот дом самый красивый. They built that house and that house, but that exact house looks very beautiful. Вон тот мужчина похож на Джорджа Клуни. Look, that guy looks like George. George Clooney. So you'll say, among other people, you're trying to specify exactly who is that exact person who looks like George Clooney. And then we have particle же that can be used with all of the pronouns, all of the demonstrative pronouns. Этот же, тот же, такой же, столько же, and it will mean a repetition of objects. It will show the identity of two objects. Let's say, этот же фильм мы смотрели вчера. This same movie we watched yesterday, or this exact movie we watched yesterday. Это тот же писатель, что написал твою любимую книгу. This is the same author that wrote your favorite book. Ей столько же лет, сколько и тебе. She is as old as you are. When we say же, you can use the construction of SS. You can say that it's just exact same thing. It repeats something that was already done or said or seen and so on. Then we have some fixed phrases with these pronouns. For example, с тех пор, from that time. Тех is the genitive plural form of the pronoun тот. В детстве я упала с качели, с тех пор я боюсь качель. As a child I fell from a swing, and from that time I'm afraid of swings. Uh, another sort of fixed phrase is в то время. At that time. Времена войны были тяжелые. В то время люди голодали. The war times were tough. At that time people were starving. В то время. At that time. В эту минуту. At this minute or at this moment. Я упала с качели, в эту минуту мне хотелось быть с мамой. I fell from a swing, at that moment I wanted to be with my mom. And some of the demonstrative pronouns have um, absolute forms or stylistic forms, forms that we don't actually use anymore, but they still exist in the books. So for example, when we say такой, we can also say таков. We don't say it nowadays this way, but you can see it in books, so just be aware. So if you say он украл что-то и был таков, that means that he stole something and he was gone. Был таков as a fixed phrase means something completely different. So he was gone, he disappeared. And there is also pronoun say. Я упала с качели и по сей день не могу это забыть. I fell from a swing and until this moment I can't uh, forget it. Or until this day I can't forget it. Say means until this moment, until now. All the way of saying stuff, you would normally see it in the books or you will hear people say it, but not as often as other pronouns like тот, этот, такой, столько. But just to be aware that there are some other forms of demonstrative pronouns. So first of all, when I talked about это, I forgot to mention то. So это и то, this is and that is. Это дом, this is a house. То дом, that is a house. 
And uh, these are the pronouns that stay unchanged. As I told you, depending on the gender and number and case, they will not change. And we also have pronouns stolka. Stolka will not change by gender, but it also doesn't change for case because it always stays plural. As many, as much, it already stays in plural. Uh, stolka knig, so many books, as many books. Uh, stolka tsvitov, uh, that many flowers. So we don't say stolka kniga i stolka tsvitov. So it's always going to be in plural. I put it in the plural column here. And then we have pronouns et, et and tot, uh, this and that, this and that. And in masculine it will be et, et tot, in feminine et, et ta, in neuter et, et to, and in plural eti and tia. So basically if you drop e from this, they will stay the same, et, et tot, eta, ta, eto, to, and it'll only change in plural. Eti will change to tia. And then takoi, takaya, takoi, takia. This is our how our pronoun such will change by gender. Masculine, feminine, neuter, and plural. Let me go and look by case. So how the pronoun etat will change according to case. It will be exactly the same for pronoun tot. Uh, nominative case, uh, etot, eta, eto, and eti. Uh, genitive case, net uh, kavo etava, net ete, net etava, net etich. Neuter basically repeats masculine uh, pattern. It will always be the same after a nominative case. Always the same. So we can actually put it in and I put it in the red. Here we go. Dative case, dat etamu, dat etoi, dat etamu, dat etim. Genitally padesh accusative case always reflects animateness and inanimateness of the object. So if the object is animate, ya vizu etava kata. It will repeat genitive case, ya vizu etava kata. No, if it's inanimate, I will say этот, я вижу этот шкаф. So этот used with inanimate, этого will, will be used with animate. And in accusative, feminine uh, has different form, not like masculine or neutral, so it's going to be эту, я вижу эту кошку, я вижу эту дорогу. So animate or inanimate, it will stay эту. Творительный падеж этим сделан этим мужчиной, сделан этой женщиной, сделано этим, не знаю, окном и сделано этими людьми. And предложный падеж prepositional. Думаю об этом мужчине, думаю об этой женщине, думаю об этом окне и думаю об этих людях. And now we are looking at declension of pronoun такой. In nominative case, masculine такой, feminine такая, neuter такое, и plural такие. Такой стол, такая квартира, такое пальто, и такие люди, такие деньги. Родительный падеж, genitive case, нет такого, нет такой, нет такого, нет таких. Дательный дать такому мужчине, дать такой женщине, дать такому блюду, дать таким людям, таким детям. Винительный падеж. I left this blank. Uh, do you know why? Because, yes, it repeats the pattern of animateness and inanimateness. So, я вижу такого мужчину, но я вижу такой самолет. So, такого will be used with animate, in такой nominative case will be used with inanimate. And then я вижу такую женщину, я вижу такую квартиру, will stay the same uh, regardless of animateness and inanimateness. Neutral repeats masculine and then plural таких. Я вижу таких прекрасных uh, собак. I see beautiful dogs. Творительный падеж сделано таким мужчиной, сделано такой женщиной, сделано таким не знаю, с кем-то, сделано такими людьми. И я думаю о таком мужчине, о такой женщине, о таком окне и о таких людях или о таких прекрасных детях. Such pretty children. In plural will be таких. 
И, как я вам говорила, столько is always used in plural case. So we can see here um, the pronoun and here is the example. So столько студентов in nominative case. Uh, so many students or that many students. Uh, нет uh, кого, нет стольких студентов. Um, no, that we don't have that many students. None of that many students. Dative, дать стольким студентам. Give that many students. So, for example, дать стольким студентам образование. Give that many students an education. Винительный падеж. Вижу стольких студентов. Again, винительный падеж repeats родительный genitive. Вижу стольких студентов. See that many students. И вижу столько книг. See that many books. So, книг is inanimate. It repeats nominative case. Столько книг. Творительный падеж сделано столькими студентами. Made by that many students. И предложный prepositional. Думаю о стольких студентах. Think about that many students. So, always changed in plural case. Okay, this is all I have for today, guys. I hope this was helpful for you. And I'll see you in my next video. Пока-пока.